Hey guys, it's Melanie and today I have a review for you of Colonial Candles Sweet Iced Tea. This is a re-release for the company. They used to have a candle called, I believe it was Southern Sweet Tea. Um, I think that's what I remember being it called. Correct me if I'm wrong uh, down below in the comments. But um, I had a couple of those candles that I found about a year or so ago at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I can't remember which one it was. But I really kind of felt like I scored <laughs> when I found them because Colonials can be a little bit hard to come by at the discount stores. But I really loved that Southern Sweet Tea Candle. It was a very authentic, like true, like sweet tea fragrance. And when I ran out, I was bummed to actually learn that it was a fragrance that they were discontinuing. Well, I think they got some feedback and realized that it was a really popular scent and they re-released it. Now, you might be surprised to be seeing a Colonial Candle review on my channel because of a experience that I had with them last year um, from ordering through their company website. So I did not order this candle on their website. I actually found this at my local Fred Meyer. So if you are in the Pacific Northwest, I believe that most Fred Meyer stores are now selling Colonial Candles. So if you're interested, this candle is available there, which is where I picked mine up. Um, I have been burning this nonstop for the last, like, week. <laughs> I cannot get enough of this fragrance, and I'm so glad to be able to, like, grab more of it now. And again, I don't have to order it from the website, which is nice. Um, if you're wondering why I have issues with the Colonial website, I will post a video down below that will explain all of that to you. Um, but suffice it to say, I did not have to deal with my friend Eddie to actually get this candle, which is a wonderful thing. So in terms of the fragrance, this is basically, to me, it smells like a dead on like repackage of that original iced tea candle that they had. So I don't think they changed anything about it. This has that true like black tea, um, sweet, like just sweet iced tea, <laughs> like Lipton sweet iced tea type notes to it. Um, there is some lemon in this as well. It's just a really refreshing candle to have burning during like the warm spring and summer months, honestly. It is so authentic. It is so strong. Um, the throw on this bad boy is a solid 8 out of 10 and the strength is also an 8 out of 10. It is very noticeable when you walk into a room and you're burning this. Like, you're gonna know that you are burning some kind of, like, either melt or candle. Um, you know, it sort of, it doesn't knock you in the face, but it's very noticeable. Um, you do have to like that strong tea note in your candles to really appreciate this one. I do, so that's perfect for me. But if you are looking for something that is subtle, um, soft, like dainty and, you know, just like a dainty pretty scent, this is not. This is just a straight up like tea scented candle. Um, so the strength and the throw are really good. The one complaint that I have, and this is a pretty constant complaint um, with most large jar colonials for me, is that there's a lot of residue and it takes forever to pull out. Um, so you can see that there is a lot of residue, residue up around the label there. When I first start burning a colonial candle large jar, I always foil it for the first burn so that it pools completely across the top. Um, sometimes you can have these things lit for like six hours and they could still not be um, completely pulled out by the end of the six hours. So the foil really helps with the first burn and then subsequent burns, it's much more likely to pool evenly if you do that. Um, there's still residue despite that though. <laughs> and that just is kind of a constant that I've noticed with most of my colonial candles. So it's just kind of par for the course. I don't mind it. It's easy enough for me to clean up when I clean the jars out. So that's good. Um, but 
yeah, it's it's beautiful. It is something that I am absolutely going to repurchase more of for the summertime. The prices at Fred Meyer are the same as they are on the Colonial Candle website, except that Fred Meyer frequently has these on um, a buy one get one special or they'll have them at 20 or 30% off. I was able to grab this one at 30% off. Um, so I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for a buy one get one special um, because that's probably when I will pick up some more of these. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? I do keep this in a hurricane. <laughs> um, I keep this in one of the Bath and Body Works like big cylinder ones. I have the Starburst one from last holiday season and that works really well. It does help to retain the heat. It is hard to find hurricanes that will hold these large oval jars, but um, the larger cylinder holders from Bath & Body Works do hold these colonial candles. So if you're looking for one, they do have some pretty ones on the Bath & Body Works website right now, or I'm sure you can find something at Home Goods that would probably fit one of these um, colonials as well. So. I think that's everything that I have to report for you guys on this candle. It is two thumbs up for me. I love it. I'm so glad my Fred Meyer is carrying this fragrance. They are not carrying all of the newer fragrances. I think they just kind of do the most popular ones. And then they have like the standard lineup of like um, the like mango salsa and like the dragon fruit and like there's like a butterscotch maple or something like that. Um, there's a decent selection. If you're in the Pacific Northwest, definitely go check them out. As far as other places where you can find Colonials other than their website, um, I think I've heard maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, there are some like uh, boutique type stores that also sell Colonial. And then obviously check TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. Um, sometimes they will have them there as well. But I don't know that you will find this Southern Iced Tea there quite yet because it's still um, a new release for Colonial as of right now. So leave me any questions down below or let me know what your thoughts are on Sweet Iced Tea. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.